Hey, it's Patty Sampson again. How are you guys? Um, so today I'm going to uh, answer a few questions about making sure that your drip campaign is turned on correctly when you have a Facebook lead or any kind of lead coming into the system. So I did want to um, just probably hit home the Facebook side of this mostly, but um, no matter how you look at it, the number one thing you have to do before you start this whole process is making sure that you have a source set up in line desk and why is that because the only way the system knows which campaign to turn on is based on the source okay so you I always hit home this if you're gonna do ads you got to be sure that you have a campaign set up specifically for every every lead or I'm sorry every um, ad you do okay or any if any leads are coming into the system automatically you want to make sure you have a specific campaign so and it really needs to be sure that you're sending out exactly what they asked for. So if you're doing a Facebook ad, say for a buyer guide, you want to make sure you have a buyer guide campaign lined up. And what does that mean? Make sure you send them the guide when they sign up. Nothing's going to aggravate your consumers more if they sign up and don't get what they asked for. Okay. So you got to get your campaign set up. And if you need help with that, reach out to me. But you can get the campaigns. I have a ton of them. Um, you can write your own, whatever, but you got to make sure you have it. Okay, so do that, number one. You're going to be working backwards. Number two is you want to come into the settings and line desk and add in a source specific to this because the only way the system knows is by having a source. So you're going to come in and be sure that you've added in, now you're on the settings, be sure that you add in a source specific for the, the buyer guide, okay, or whatever whatever it is, okay. So if, if the source is going to be a spec home ad or a single level home ad or you know new construction home ad whatever it is i usually try to start it out with an fb in here i mean i've got I'm kind of all over the place i'm i'm trying to get around to cleaning this all up but if you start it with an fb you know it's a facebook ad all right and then you, then you can go ahead and add it so this one i'll just say is a buyer guide ad okay so i'm on my settings still right the other thing you could choose to do depending on what your form is asking you might want to go down into your um, custom uh, fields and add in something based on whatever your form is asking. So I sometimes ask about their desired area, so that way I can send them listings right to my website. You can um, add in uh, uh, something for the desired area or favorite area or area of interest. So I had, I had already added one in here for area of interest, you'll see. So um, that's something you might want to do because when we go to match up the fields, we'll already have a custom field for it. So that's kind of convenient. You want to be able to see it and not just have it dump into the notes. Okay. So we're still on the settings. Now we're going to head over to Facebook, uh, the Facebook settings. And um, you're going to make, I'm just going to quickly go through this because you should already know how to do this. But if you don't, when you want to pull in the actual form, then you're going to go to your page where the ad is. So I've got a few pages and I'm going to go to list forms. So from there, if I have, depending on how, oops, list the forms and whatever forms you have from that, your have built in there ought to load up in here and you'll see it. And then over here, you're going to add, you're going to say add form. Now I've already done this, so it doesn't say add form. It says already uh, subscribed, as you can see. So um, I just go ahead and hit add form. And when you do, it's going to pop up to the top here. All right. And then now what you're going to do is map the fields from your Facebook form to the fields in Lion Desk. Now, I do want to hit home. If you're doing a boost, this isn't going to work because this is strictly for lead generation Facebook ad that you have actually built a form in there. OK, so just FYI. Now. When you click on this, you're going to start mapping the fields. So because we already set up the set up the source, we're going to pick that source out of the list, right? So whatever your ad was, whatever source you added, pick it out of the list. And here's where I said preferred area of interest. I added it here because it was a custom field, right? If you don't have any custom fields, you can just dump it into the comment section. You, the only thing you can put duplicates into is the comment section, section, just so you know. Okay. So I could have put it there, but because I wanted it to be kind of in my face when I pull it up, it will be in the contact and it'll be right there. Okay. And then I'm going to map the rest of the information. I did ask about what kind of how they wanted. I just put that in the comment section. It's, I'm going to map up their full, full name, their email, and their phone number. Okay. So, uh, then you're just going to go ahead and do that. All right. Now you're not done because now you've got to tell the system 
which campaign to turn on, right? So we do that over here at the Lead Distribution and Team Settings tab. And we're going to go ahead and add in, because this is a direct connection between uh, Facebook and Lion Desk, I'm going to go ahead and add in the um, <coughs> connection. And that connection drop down is going to be Facebook, uh, CRM Direct, something like that. Let me find it. Uh, there's a lot in here. So I'm looking for the Facebook lead ad CRM Direct. So there seems to be a lot of questions about using Zapier. That's another that's another class, but you, there are reasons you may want to use Zapier, but in this case, we don't need to. We just don't need to. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Facebook lead ad CRM Direct. I'm going to put you on pause so I can cough this one out. I'll be right with you. Sorry about that, the, the dry Arizona air. <clears throat> okay, so I went ahead and um, I'm going to pick out Facebook ad lead CRM Direct, um, which I don't know if you saw that because it came down below the screen, but you're looking for that, and you're going to add a new lead routing. And then you're going to select that source, right? So our, so our source that we added was the buyer guide. So I'll pick something out. And then the campaign. Remember, we had that set up ahead of time. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pick out the campaign I want to add to it, right? And then if you have a team or it's just you, if it's just you, just pick out individual and then save the lead routing, okay? Once you do that now, when new leads come into the system, it will identify the different ads you have because if you have three ads running now you've told it uh, when this lead comes in from that one this campaign goes on if this leads coming in from that ad this campaign goes on and so on and so on all right so you can see I have a lot because I've done a whole pile of ads for different things through my um, time and the other thing I don't necessarily want to do is turn the campaign off um, for any old ads because some, I want these things to keep running, you know, because somebody might happen to hit on some landing page I have somewhere. So I won't shut them off unless I know for sure I'm not doing it anymore. All right, I think that covers it. For those of you who don't know, I provide training and services uh, and campaigns on Lion Desk uh, and also other CRMs. And if you are in need of any assistance in any way, automating and organizing your business, you want to make sure that you follow me at exposedagent.com, subscribe to this channel, and uh, make sure that you like our page on Facebook. That's Exposed Agent Digital uh, Marketing, Marketing for Agents. So you'll see us there. Just track us down. Um, if not, click on my image and you'll get to it, <laughs> okay? My image if you're in Facebook, all right? You'll, you'll find us. We're out there, Exposed Agent. All right, so any kind of help you need uh, getting set up, automated and organized, we really do want to see you close more of your expensive real estate leads. I'm an agent helping agents, and I want to help you too. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Thanks so much for sticking around. Bye.